Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there, AstroVentures. Welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George, and this is the astrophotography channel for DSLR and mirrorless camera bodies, combined with the lenses we already own in a simple star tracker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventure. Now, um, usually videos come out every Friday, but I know um, people everywhere but in Utah, because we're going into our fourth month straight of uh, overcast clouds, just unheard of here in the desert. But I know people are chasing Comet ZTF. And so in my previous uh, video update on the Comet, I gave dates and times going out through the 30th. And I'm going to go ahead and update this with some future dates and times. And in this particular video, uh, after I get done talking to you, I will be showing you images out of Stellarium, where the Comet is, and I will have dates and shooting times for you. And on this particular one, what I did, because a viewer of ours was asking uh, for times relative to Washington, D.C. So what I've done is using Washington, D.C. as Eastern time zone. And then I also added in the time zone of Utah, where I am at. And so that way there you'll see times for both Eastern and Mountain Time. And you can see they're about a half an hour apart. So depending on exactly where you are, you can kind of do the math and figure out if you happen to be in Central or Pacific as to what your approximate time would be. Now as we get started, the uh, first ones will be January 30th through uh, February 1st. So that covers a window of three days. On those particular ones, those are get up early in the morning times and what you're waiting for is the moon has to set the night before and it doesn't actually set until early morning so those times that i give you that's a go to bed and plan on getting up super early on the morning of the january of january 30th 31st and february 1st then you'll see there's a break between february 1st out to february 7th and the reason being is, is that break in between those two dates is because the moon is up for the entire night and it is working its way towards a full moon. So it really messes you up. So I resume with my date and times on February 7th through the 11th. And then the times listed will be based off of a 24-hour clock. So that way there, um, you know, it may, might make it a little bit easier for uh, most of the world that likes to use 24-hour clock as opposed to here in the, uh, the U.S. So I'll get those rolling for you. Uh, feel free to pause, take your time. It has the uh, constellation showing as well as the comet being well marked. The lower left corner of your screen, you'll see if it's eastern time or mountain. And then in the lower right, it'll show you the date and the shooting time to start. Now, um, as we approach the uh, February 11th uh, date, um, the comet's brightness is starting to really diminish. And according to Stellarium, it's projected that around February 10th, 11th is when it is going to move into a magnitude 6 meaning that it comes out of naked eye visibility if you were in truly dark skies and it is starting to fade away from our view. But anyway, here we go. Let's take a look. <laughs> 